everyone, Stephanie here from Stephanie Con Fitness, and today is day number 26 of your 30 day yoga challenge. Today we're going to be doing the second part of our feel good flow. This one is going to be entirely ground based. If you know that you want a little extra cushioning or padding underneath your knees, grab maybe a throw pillow or a folded blanket or an extra yoga mat if you happen to have one handy to place underneath your knees. And we will go ahead and get started. So let's come onto all fours. Finding our alignment and positioning here so that our shoulders are right over the crease line of the wrists and the hips are coming right over the knees. From here, as we inhale, dropping the belly, lifting the tailbone, sliding the shoulder blades down the back, we'll open our chest forward. Now, as we exhale, tuck and round through the spine. Again, as we inhale, drop the belly, opening the chest. Exhale, tuck and round. So we're just beginning to work a little bit of mobility through the spine, as well as linking the movement of the body into the rhythm of our breath today. That's gonna to bring about a really great relaxation response within your body. Linking movement with breath. Remembering that you always have the opportunity here to move at your own pace. Coming back to all fours, let's shift our hips over to the right and you're gonna look over your right shoulder, almost like there's somebody behind you calling your name. And then we'll gently take that over to the left side, looking over that left shoulder, looking for someone behind you. Taking that movement side to side. We'll do that one more time each way. Getting some of the kinks out of that back today. And from here, we'll return ourselves to that all fours positioning and then sending our hips back coming into extended child's pose. So the arms are reaching in front of us, shoulders relaxing, allowing the forehead to relax onto the floor. Taking just a few deep breaths here to settle in, check in with your child's pose noticing how it feels today. Remembering that we have an open invitation to child's pose at any point in time in our practice today. So if it's calling your name, go ahead and come into child's pose. Now from here, we'll anchor those hands down. So almost imagine that you're suction cupping the palm of the hand onto the floor and then you're going to grip slightly with the pads of the fingers energizing up the arms rolling the shoulders down the back we'll shift ourselves forward so that we can tuck our toes underneath sending the hips up and back into downward facing dog so we're active and strong through the upper body shoulders moving away from the ears and that core is gently engaging to support a nice long spine I encourage you to lift your heels and bend your knees if that feels better for your hamstrings, or we can start to walk the dog, bicycling those heels, bending one knee, dropping the opposite heel. Just let yourself relax here. Nice and easy. Relaxing the heels in the general direction of the floor. We'll return our knees to the floor, sending our hips back into extended child's pose. So from here, we're gonna put together 
a little flow that is kind of a twist on your traditional sun salutation. So this is a kneeling variation that's kind of fun if you're not feeling like you wanna do a ton of planks. So from here, we'll engage the core as we inhale, reaching the fingertips up. We're gonna take the chest off the thighs, hips off the heels. Then as we exhale, we'll fold ourselves back down. So again, if you want some padding underneath those knees, feel free to grab some. As we inhale, belly draws in, engaging the core. So this is nice and controlled as we rise up and then float ourselves back down. So let's do that one more time and then we're gonna add on. Inhale, reaching tall. Exhale, floating ourselves back down into child's pose. Now from here, little change. We'll inhale, come back to all fours, drop the belly, lift the tailbone, opening the heart center, coming into cow pose. Remember that spinal extension from the beginning of our practice? We'll exhale, tuck those toes underneath as we're lifting the hips up and back to our good friend, downward facing dog. Next inhalation, we're returning the knees to the floor, dropping the belly, lifting the tailbone, opening the chest, cow pose. As we're breathing out, tucking the tailbone, rounding the back. Coming back to extended child's pose. So now we're back where we started. We'll put that all together. Big inhale, reaching tall through the fingertips, navel drawing in as we're exhaling, floating back down. Inhaling all fours, cow pose, extending the spine. Exhale, tuck and lift, downward facing dog. Next inhalation, returning the knees to the floor, dropping the belly, opening the chest. As we exhale, we scoop and round. Come back to child's pose. Let's try that two more times. Big inhale, reaching up. Big exhale, floating back down. Inhaling all fours, cow pose, extending the spine, getting long through the back. Exhale, tuck and lift, downward facing dog. Next inhalation, knees returning to the floor, drop the belly, open your chest. Exhale, scoop and round. Coming back to child's pose. Last time through, big inhale, lifts up. Exhale, floating back down with control. Inhaling, open through your chest. Exhale, tucking those toes, lifting the hips, downward facing dog. Inhaling the knees back to the floor, drop your belly, open your chest. Exhale, rounding your back. Let's shift ourselves back so that we're coming again to our child's pose. And we'll take just a few deep breaths to reset here. walking our hands back in. We'll take those knees to one side, shift ourselves so that we're having a seat on our mat, lengthening up nice and tall. Let's inhale, reach those arms up, exhaling our hands together at heart center. Light within me honors and salutes the light within you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for this quick feel good flow practice. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you tomorrow. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye.